SAS Red Notice. What do you know? Anything? SAS. What does the SAS stand for? Special. Mm -hmm. Air Force Services. Special Air Force Services. Special. What is it? I thought it was. Oh, record. Yeah. Special Air Services. Oh. Oh. It's not Special Air Force Services. Oh, That's oh, just sorry, sorry. ridiculous. Sorry, God. What's the Special Air Service? Um, red. Now, red. There'll be a lot of blood. Yeah. And like a notice. A notice like, is like it's all the people going, oh, oh, look at all that blood. No, I was thinking more like an eviction notice. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, <sighs> right, so what do you want to bet? Right, this is the SAS, which is a British mm -hmm. uh, task force. What do you want to bet that the main characters are American? I don't think they will be. I'll stake my life on it. Well, do you know if they're going to be American or no, not? I don't really know. I don't think they will be. I, I think they're going to be like really poshly British. I kind of want them yeah. to be like really like. My subsequent question was going to be if they are Americans playing British people, are they going to do accents or is it just going to be one of those things where they have an American accent but we still just assume that they're British? So no, I think they'll do you accents. You know, like Kevin Costner and Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. He's playing the guy from Nottingham, but he's like, John, you'll have to catch her! And everyone's just kind of like, oh yeah, that's how Nottingham people speak. No, I think they'll do accents. And I mean, like, this, is, this is 2021, Sean. Come on. And like Mel Gibson in Braveheart, where his Scottish accent is literally the most atrocious thing anyone's ever heard. <laughs> oh, aye! And if he were here, he'd consume the English! Yeah, no. You know I, mean? I think... I think I Accents. I think every Scottish person groans when they watch that film. But like, I'm, I want like other accents other than like the, like the stereotypical British accents. Or you want just like a Geordie in the middle of there. We are men because I just want them. Oh yeah. We are yeah. men. Like, I want Geordies. I want people like that. You know, like I know we're not Geordies, but that, that was my. I feel like if there was going to be British people in, we'd probably put someone here from Birmingham in because Peaky Blinders is really popular at the minute. Mm. I just want like accents that no I can fighting. be like, that are cool. That are like you know, like Ray Winston. The thing is, though, with most Americans, most Americans think that hard British accents are Cockneys who sound like Ray Winston. So people seem to think that Danny Dye is hard for some reason. He's not. He's a complete ponce, right? And he's like, it's but it's just because he's got that. Vo I mean, I love Danny Dye. I'm not insulting Danny yeah. Dye, but I am insulting him a little bit. Um, it's 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 uh... like it's, I think it's just an uncommon fact that Northerners are harder than Southerners. I think and like our, actual northerners. I don't think it's that. I think it's our accents are a lot more rough and like. I don't think because a lot of people from the south think that we're posh. <laughs> Do I remember when we went to when we camped that one time? We saw one of them people from somewhere somewhere in the southern territories, and one of them said that we sound like posh. I don't remember. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. We told them we're from up north, and they're like, "Oh, hey man, I thought you were supposed to talk like this." We were like, "No, no, we're, we're civilized." No. Uh, yeah, northern northern anyway, people are way want, harder than southern accents. people. Aren't they? You're going to cause some arguments. Northern people are far. These are my two contentious thing points here. If you're not from the UK, northern people are harder than southern people. Also, Bolton is not in the north. Is Manchester? Neither is Manchester. Why? Ugh. Idiots. I think because they're like they, they that's, say. That's they, what I mean. People say, are trying to be the hard northern. They say we are north because we are north of London, but it's like everywhere is practically north of London. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I mean, isn't Middlesbrough literally the middle borough? So it's supposed to be like the cut-off point. I'm not, that. Someone I'm, said that to me. I'm not sure. I mean, you know. Anyway. Anyway. Anyway, that's enough of whinging about the UK. <laughs> this is SES Red Notice trailer. Great. What's a uh, fair price for that village? <laughs> I just need that village cleared today, all right? If huh? they refuse, cut their tongues out. Red notices have been issued for the notorious Black Swans, a family-owned private military company linked to alleged atrocities in the Republic of Georgia. The SAS is about to move on us. To confirm, this is a hard arrest. You'll serve the red notice. Grace is special. Everyone is replaceable. Grace isn't dead, boss. What's that guy? What, Mickey from Doctor Who? I love being with you, Tom. 
But I don't understand. Oh, it's ghost as well. Then let's talk about this in Paris. I haven't said yes yet. Don't be late. He's obviously a bit of a cool guy in his leather jacket. People in the UK don't wear leather jackets. Oh, they're going to kill her. Kidnap Major her breaking news: the Eurostream train has been hijacked. My father taught me all about these. This one carries gas to homes across the UK. If you don't pay us, I will destroy this tunnel and everyone in it. If she exposes what we've done, this is a very big problem for me. Get down there and kill her. It's harmless. Ice down! Now! Stay down! I have to find Sophie. There's a player in the battle space. He's armed and skilled. God, it's like die hard. He's for the way into the carriages. What are you doing, Tom? This isn't about money. It's revenge. We're more alike than you know. I'm just like a good guy, bad guy. Let me help you embrace who you really are. You are? Is she called Ruby Rose? I think so, yeah. That looked not terrible. It probably will be terrible, but it didn't look terrible. I'm not entirely sure on what the plot is, I'll be honest. Village. It seems as though, so he's in... I think that it's some kind of... This guy is hired by the British government to hire these people. They, they, they're hired, they go back on the word, she goes rogue. And then there's a no-holds action joyride from there. Mm-hmm. So he's a really famous actor. That's Andy Serkis, for God's sake. I don't know who the other guy is. I don't know who the main character is. Ghost from Ant-Man and the Wasp. She used to be Batwoman. She used to be... That's Ruby. It's Ruby Rose, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Now, Ruby Rose can do good fight scenes. I know yeah. that. Because I'm pretty sure she was in John Wick and she was a hard case in John Wick. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, it sounds like it's going to be all Londoners. Clear today, all right? If they refuse... Clear today, all right? Cut their tongues out. He's an English actor doing an American accent. Hmm? He's an English actor doing an American accent. Good for him. Oliver Lewis. Oh, look. American nationals living in North London. Hmm, yeah. It's not like just living in the middle of like Swansea or something like that, is it? Hmm. Where did they get this picture from? They probably took them. No, cause, yeah, no, but this one looks like it's taken from a camera. This one and this one look like sort of jobs, job things, job shots, job bug shots, shop shots for the hand in resume shots, shots that you know you use when you're trying to get job, uh, jobs. What do you take photos of yourself when you try and get a job? Yeah. Yeah. You know, just in case. Okay. Um. Yeah. Red notice, see? It Red is notice. It is like an eviction notice. Because they want them out of the outlook. I think it's like the most wanted type thing, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm pretty sure Andy Circus kills that guy. He kills the, the dad person. Yeah. And this is... he's our, I think he's our SAS. Probably. His pupils are. Maybe on drugs. Grace is... Special. I feel like I've seen him. Everyone is replaceable. Yeah, that's, that's like he's getting killed. So maybe they're like a gang or like something. The mercenaries. Yeah, and he like he like betrays them and kills him. She obviously mad. Maybe like they turn them in or he like goes to, he turns them in or something. That's what I said. Yeah. Oh. Got a bit more attention. No, you didn't say that. You didn't. You didn't say turns them in or something. I did. No, this is the guy who I was on about. He was in Game of Thrones. And in um, Black Sails. Is he Tarly or something? Yeah. One of Tarly's. Dick on. See, look, is that not Mickey from Doctor Who? Yeah, it is, yeah. He isn't dead, boss. Looks like he's the head of the SAS. Good for him. I love being with you, Tom. 
But I don't understand you. And let's talk about this in Paris. I haven't said yes yet. Don't be late. She's really good. Don't be yeah. So she hijacks the train. Has been hijacked. Threatens to broad up. Carries. It's basically die hard, isn't it? What's the British equivalent of saying, now I know what a TV dinner feels like? The British equivalent? Now I know what a TV dinner feels like. Now, uh, now I know what a used tea bag feels like. It's very British, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> And it wouldn't be die hard, it would be slightly inconvenient softly. Because you know how the British kick up a fuss when they're slightly inconvenienced. Mm. Yeah. As opposed to dying like all Americans do. We British don't die, obviously, we just sort of disappeared into the wind at a certain age, don't we? <laughs> what, we just like Thanos ourselves into yeah, yeah. the air? We just, we just one day we go, that's it. And then we just drift away. Um, yeah, slightly inconvenient, softly is uh, the British equivalent of Die Hard. Of Die Hard. Oh my God, I could make millions with that idea. I bet, I bet millions would turn. One day I'm going to make that film. There's <laughs> gas to homes across the UK. If you don't pay us, I will destroy. The I'm sorry. Is there any famous actors there? No. She doesn't look very impressed, though, does she? No, she <laughs> which one? Her? Yeah. She's like, Dip. I'm having none of your rubbish. She's there drinking her tea. Oh. On the back. Yeah. I will destroy know. this tunnel and everyone in it. If she exposes what we've done, this is a very big problem. See, he is... He's in down it. So that's why I think he's the Prime Minister, right? He's like some kind of person that works for the Prime Minister. He's been sent to hire them. He's hired them. They've done a job for him, which was clearing up the village at the beginning. Then he's turned on them, tried to like burn them or whatever you call it. Like, you know, like, turn his back on them. And then she's gone rogue, hijacked the train, and now she's teaching London a lesson because of him. Yeah, but what... Why did he say that once she's figured out what we've done? Isn't that what they've... Down there and kill her. If she exposes what we've done, this is a very... If she exposes what they've done, oh. because they hired mercenaries to do a horrible job, right, okay. which would naturally get the Prime Minister sacked. Big problem Among for me. Things. Down there and kill her. Was there any famous actors there? What do you mean other than Andy Serkis? Oh. Don't know him. Don't know you. Don't know you. That guy from Game of Thrones. So the killer. Is. Yeah, they're, 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 they're. the Special Air Force Service. Is it wasn't I have to find Sophie. Now I know what a used tea space. bag feels He's like. Armed and skilled. He's looking for a way into the carriages. What do we think? What's this? What's? What are you doing, Tom? This is going to be like a thing where they both push them up and start fighting each other. See, he moved his hand money. to like a back it's up his push him. He made a deal that they'll push him off. We're more alike than you know. They're even going all out Let on a Ruby Rose bad guy. You really are. She can do cool fight scenes. It looks quite cool. Hmm. It is a little like, there is no like, I'm not sat here going, I understand what's going to happen in this movie. Mm. Which I feel like trailers kind of need to do. Yeah. They kind of need to make me sit there and go, so this is the basic plot, or what they're telling us is the basic plot, and I'm excited to see how that plot turns out. Yeah. But it hasn't really done that. Yeah. Still looks cool, though. Yeah, yeah. Looks, yeah, looks all right. Um, so let us know down in the comments what you think of this. What do you think the coolest British accent is? Is there any British customs that you think... <sighs> are incorrect and that you dislike like the north south divide where do you think that north south divide is um what's the cut I already asked what's the coolest British accent, British accent. Mm -hmm. what other famous die hard lines could be converted into British and added to my film slightly inconvenient softly oh god honestly that's a million dollar idea that mm. seriously 
That could be like the, that could be like the taglines. Just now I know what a used tea bag feels like. You know, instead of like a instead of like a gun because we don't have guns in the UK because we're civilized. He just has like a like a tennis racket or a badminton racket. <laughs> <laughs> or like a yeah I mean yeah. instead of like you know instead of like bullets on him and all, and all that stuff he walks around just with a, a few shuttlecocks around him so he can just <laughs> <laughs> tennis balls yeah. yeah no but no you wouldn't hit a tennis ball with a bad racket no but off a tennis racket it. you would you would civilised fool off a tennis <laughs> racket you would can you not think of any famous Brit diehard lines that could go into my film no is it because you've never seen Die Hard? I've seen Die Hard, I just don't know what any of the famous lines are. Um, yippee ki yay Mother effer. I'm not going to say the word because I'm civilised. <laughs> um, uh, yippee ki yay I don't know. What about... What even is hippie ki yay No, yippee. yippee, yippee ki yay Not hippie ki yay Hippie Kaye. Really? <laughs> oh, you've seen Die Hard. Hippie Kaye. Hippie Kaye. Hippie what about? Kaye sounds like it could be right. What about? How are man, you nutbag? No, but that's not civilised enough. How are man, you turd? <laughs> no, civilised, civilised. No. What about? What about? How are man, you ball sack? <laughs> I thought they're supposed to be British. That's not just notoriously British. Oh, notorious. Okay. How about <laughs> how a man your moustache fondler? <laughs> um. What? Does it not like moustache fondler? <laughs> no. That's not British. How a man you bagel liquor? I'm just, I'm just putting nouns <laughs> and verbs on. How a man you... Jezebel. Banger. Banger? Yeah, because your banger's oh, yeah. a mash. Oh, yeah. Terribly civilised, isn't it? What, your banger's a mash? No. What about... Oh, how a man you spotted dick? <laughs> <laughs> there. Take that to the shop. Uh, oh, right. no. <laughs> <laughs> like the video or subscribe. Hit the little bell to be notified. I didn't do that outro when I was on the, any of the other videos. I recorded it today. Like the video, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when we upload. We upload every day. Um, <gasps> let us know all the stuff that we said down in the comments and I'll write them down and I will eventually make the film, I promise. Um, God. Anything else you want to say? Why would we ever call something a spotted dick? What even is a spotted well, I, dick? I don't know. <laughs> For my time. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I need to know.